now on Patreon. in the oxbow fresh after the harvest we're now in winter the uh the entire fall months were sort of a blur to me it was just a a big mess of photography and uh, i came away with quite a number of images i was pretty happy with and um yeah i, I didn't really post a whole lot of videos uh with the oxbow here because it was just it was just so beautiful, I couldn't really focus much on the video aspect. I was really focused on the photography. And I think uh, that's kind of what's more important for me. But yeah, ground is frozen solid, hard as a rock, ice out, even some of the crops that are left and uh, the grass here is completely frozen over. But that's the, uh, that's the beauty of the oxbow, my friends. It uh, It's a natural landscape that interacts with the the human side of things, right? It's, I don't know, it's unique and it's, it's, uh, it's special to me. Oh yeah, we're shooting with the GSW. And we got some Portra 800 in there. I don't know if you can see that. Um, also, I got a new strap, Peak Design. Emily bought it for me for Christmas because it is December 29th. Um, yeah, that sun just came up over the mountains, so. Let's see if we can find some good backlighting. <laughs> These things, these little hand warmers, hot hands. They're making my hands mildly warm. I don't know if hot hands is what they should be called. Let's be real here. So we're shooting today, I'll whack myself in the face here, with Portrait 800, boys and girls. And uh, most of this Oxbow project has been shot on Ektar 100 and Portrait 400. Uh, and I'm just experimenting a little bit to see how uh, Portrait 800 renders things out here because it's fairly muted, it's fairly medium to low contrast. Um, we do got a decent amount of cloud cover, but it's it's kind of letting up every now and again. Cold, obviously. I just want to see how it how it handles things. I got my my hot hands, so I'm gonna be walking around out here, keeping my hands nice and warm, and uh, a little extra speed gives me the ability to shoot handheld. Uh, at varying apertures, so that's always a good thing. Uh, and maybe that's kind of what I need at this time of year is some variable apertures to uh, experiment a little bit on. But quite enjoying it so far. We'll see what the colors, and tones, with a Z look like when I get home and develop this. Hopefully everything works out. I'm gonna zone focus this, F11, 10 feet to infinity. Or 93 to infinity, as the Souls of Mischief once said. <laughs> yeah, gotta love zone focusing. Faster shutter speeds. I was going to say wider apertures, but smaller apertures. <laughs>
ridiculous. Ah, <sighs> we've had some crazy weather over the last like two weeks where we're getting um, crazy warm days with a lot of rain and then deep freezes. We're currently in one of those, you know, four day spans of like a deep freeze. And uh, we just came off of days of like 45, 50 degrees where there's a lot of rain. So what you're getting out here in the Oxbow are these tire treads that have been made so, so deep because of all the mud and muck. Um, now that they've frozen over and it makes it darn near impossible to navigate through some of these roads. So we're obviously gonna be walking around quite a bit, but it does make it really, really hard to kind of find a good spot to pull off and, uh, and park because we are talking like sometimes foot deep tire treads. Uh, and I'm in a Scion XB. I'm not in like some giant four wheel drive car. I'm front wheel drive, low riding car. And these are not optimal conditions for that type of, uh, type of vehicle, but we make it work, my friends, we make it work. these ice dams on this river are breaking off and actually what has happened is this whole little section over here has completely broken off and uh, has fallen in. And you can hear the ice breaking all the way up throughout the entire river. Absolutely crazy. It's really wild to hear, but the highway is, the highway noise is more prevalent because uh, there's not a lot of bush to keep out that sound. It's getting kind of later in the day and I feel like I've gotten everything that I could possibly want out of out of a couple of rolls of 800. Um, but I do want to talk a little bit about the the project uh, itself. Uh, it was about a year ago, almost a little bit more than that, I think a year and a half ago, I became familiar with Joel Sternfeld's Oxbow Archive uh, book and his series of images. And uh, there was a point when I became aware of it that I was like, anything that I do would, would, would sort of be derivative of that. Um, and I struggled with that idea and that notion, but I kept shooting. And I think at the end of the day, I started to look at it more as a documentation and how I could sort of piggyback off of Sternfeld's documentation of this landscape and shoot it nearly 20 years later and see how, how it's changed. And uh, maybe at some point, you know, 20 years from now, 30 years from now, somebody can also come in and create uh, further documentation and maybe continue this whole Oxbow archive project in different lights and different ways and different scenes and see how the landscape changes throughout the decades. I think that would be really interesting. And that's sort of how I've approached it uh, since becoming aware of uh, the Oxbow archive work by Joel Sternfeld was don't get down on it. Don't feel like I can th I should throw away the almost three years of work that I've been putting into this location just because somebody else did it. Um, but rather just look at it as this continuation of a documentation of a landscape. And that's really helped me feel like I'm doing something that's worthwhile and not just like a hacky ripoff of an incredible artist. But uh, yeah, that's just some food for thought as I was parked over here looking at the landscape, just sort of taking it in and not taking any pictures and I just started thinking a little bit more about how this project even came to be and how at some point I was like, I'm giving up on this. <laughs> but I'm glad I haven't because it's been, it's been really rewarding. All right, now, now I'm leaving. Now that I got that out, I'm gonna get out of here. 
and there is nothing sweeter than this oxbow view. Good lord.